hey guys welcome back to my channel so uh today i'm going to be filming a reaction video um to the maldraxxus afterlives uh cinematic from blizzard entertainment of course um i'm very very excited i haven't filmed a reaction video in a while and i missed the uh bastion uh reaction video i just uh wasn't available to film one and then i had already watched it and i was like well i'm not gonna like react to it if I've already seen it, um, but this one, I was aware that it was like a thing that was going to be coming out now, so I decided I would go ahead and react to it. I was watching Aklon's uh, live Twitch stream earlier where uh, he was, I don't know if he actually did end up reacting to this live because I ended up leaving the stream because I knew that this was going to be coming out like any minute, so I was like, I'm going to go get ready so that when it comes out, I'm like ready to do it. Um, so I'm assuming that he did end up reacting to it, but I just haven't seen it. But when I was in the Twitch stream, um, Aklon gave me like the best shout out ever. Um, Aklon and I are actually like pretty good friends and we talk a fair bit and stuff, but uh, he always like shouts me out anytime I like go into his stream and I'm just like, hey, like, how's it going? He'll always be like, hi, Lady Survival. And this time he... I like posted a comment in the chat and I was like, oh, like maybe I should go get ready and like actually film a reaction video this time. And he was like, you should do it. You should really be focusing on YouTube more. And he literally like pulled up my Instagram and like showed the chat my Instagram and was like, would you guys watch this girl's YouTube videos if she made more of them and stuff? And everyone was like, yes, do it, do it. So uh, that made me feel really good. And there was actually some people in Aqualand's chat that like have already seen my videos before. And it just felt like really uh, good and like empowering and stuff. So I figured uh, I would do it uh, if not for myself, but for Aqualand. So thank you for inspiring me to try to try harder try to try harder so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and watch this i have no idea what to expect i just have it pause like just so that i had a cool like video frame for this very long unnecessary intro okay so without further ado let's just get on to the reaction in life i was draka of the frost wolf clan baby girl. i saw a little baby a girl war. <laughs> Who oh. gave everything to protect what mattered most. But I was not done fighting. It's so cool we get to know that like there's more like when I move to rise and there's more. Maldraxxus, where the armies of the five houses one stood side by side to protect the realm of death. It was here I We're served the House of Eyes. A strange fit for a warrior's soul. Again. Their ways were not mine. Faster! Again! Eventually, this life after life began to feel right. Badass. <laughs> the House of Plagues lies in ruins. One fifth of Maldraxxus wiped out. It's hard to believe they could be so careless. Perhaps they weren't. No matter what happens now, Maldraxxus must stay true to its purpose. For if we fail in our duty, the Shadowlands will fall. I believe the House of the Chosen okay, still stands with us, with and I trust you to deliver this to Margrave Crexus. Now, go. And Draka. Be watchful. My brothers, I am on urgent business. My lord! Hurry! There could be survivors!
So, these are the traitors you spoke of. I would not let such Urgura prevent me from delivering my lord's final message. Ordeals such as this either break the sword or strengthen it. Hmm. I offer the key to saving Maldraxxus. I am sorry, Margrave. He gave me no key. An unyielding warrior with the skills of a master spy. A key to many things. Come, our enemies will strike openly soon. We must prepare. I am Draga. Once of the Frost Wolf clan. Now, Baroness of the House of the Chosen. And most of all, a protector of Maldraxxus. That was freaking sick. Okay, wow, that was like really interesting. I don't really know what to like make of it. Um, I've never really followed uh, Draca's lore like intensely or anything. Um, but it's just so cool to know, like, especially just, like, in the Warcraft movie, like, when Thrall was sent down the river and Draca died, like, when, before we knew about the Shadowlands, like, that's kind of like, okay, like, that's it, and then, like, now we get to find out, like, okay, like, she's actually, like, gone into the Shadowlands and now she's became, like, like I was saying, basically, like, a general, like, a badass, like, warrior rogue babe, uh, and that's, like, really, really cool, so... Yeah, I don't really have a whole lot of a lot to say in terms of like lore and stuff. I guess we'll like see what happens uh, in Maldraxxus, and I guess that she'll probably be like a big character that we'll get to see and maybe do like quests kind of for and stuff for slash with. Uh, so that's pretty that's pretty cool. So yeah, I would say I think that the Bastion uh, cinematic was better uh, just because like Arthas and Uther and just like it is just a lot more like the main characters and stuff and it was just so well done like i mean so far i like that one the most but i can't wait to see a venthyr uh after live cinematic because that's definitely going to be my covenant and also um arden wield will be super interesting too because like the winter queen is very <laughs> i have some feelings about her so i can't wait to see like what goes on with that but, but yeah this was very interesting very like action-packed and I can't get over uh, Draca's eyes. Like, in this one scene, like, I wanted to say something, but I was just, like, paying attention. But just, like, she looks so, like, deep in, like, thought and concern and, like, shock and surprise. And it's just, I love it. I love it so much. Um, so, yeah, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, I feel like it wasn't much of a reaction, really, but, I mean, I enjoyed doing it. So... Uh, I hope that you guys will stay tuned for my other reactions that I will hopefully get around to doing. It just, the hardest thing for me is that I work retail, so my shifts are very random, and if a cinematic comes out while I'm at work, it's very hard for me as a WoW nerd to, like, not watch it right away. Um, luckily I was home today, but I'm gonna do my best to actually, uh, be able to uh, hold off on that urge if I'm not able to immediately react to it, because... Uh, reaction videos are a lot of fun for me to do because I love World of Warcraft so much and I have a hard time like inspiring myself to do YouTube with like other things um, that's why I don't post a whole lot but when it's like World of Warcraft I feel very uh, at home with it and stuff so uh, yeah I'm gonna stop rambling now but I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you again soon bye guys